Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, I do have a Cancer, Leo, and Virgo only channel, so if you would like to check those out, the links are below. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when uh, my readings post. Readings can be vice versa flip it twist it reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation um, these are general readings so if it doesn't resonate with you it doesn't mean that the reading is wrong or whatever it's just not it's not picking up on your energy um, please be sure to check your sun your moon rising venus signs your other sign placements okay um what else do I want to tell you? I don't take personal readings, my loves. So any phone numbers that you see in the comment section is not me. If anyone reaches out to you on social media, it is also not me. I can recommend Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot for personal readings. The link to book with her is in the description box below. Okay, let's go ahead and get popping, my loves. Spirit, what messages do we have here for Sagittarius today, please, Spirit? Tell me about my beautiful Saggies, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Sagittarius in love, please, Spirit. Okay. Okay, so we've got happiness. We have rebound. And we have sexting in the reverse. Okay, so Sag, I don't know if this is your side or if this is your person's side, okay? But I feel like this was, this situation started as a rebound energy, okay? Now, guys, a lot of times with rebound energy, Sag, we don't like break up and then just automatically jump and say, oh, I want to start dating again because I want to use someone and throw them away. That's that's usually not how it goes. It's just we're lonely and we just want to kind of jump and uh, find someone to make us feel better or whatever, right? Now, I feel like this did start as a rebound energy. I feel like it started off sexual, okay? but it's leading to more. I feel like the sex part of it, not that it's like you're not having sex or whatever, but it's becoming less about the send me a nude or what are you doing at, you know, one o'clock in the morning and more about with happiness here. Uh, how about we hang out and watch a movie? How about we hang out and watch a movie? You know what I'm saying? Uh, how about we go do something? How about we, you know, like cuddle up and yeah, see feelings here? You know what I'm saying? Somebody is starting to catch feelings. What deck do I want to use? Okay. Spirit, tell me about Sagittarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Sag, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We have the Six of Pentacles and we have the Three of Pentacles. You know what it is, Sag, with this person? You guys vibe really well together. You know what I'm saying? You're like yin and yang with this person. Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. There's stability here. There's emotion here. Like, you guys vibe, you know? With the Death card and the Queen of Swords here, uh, Sag, I feel like there's an energy of this person is very different than whoever you were with before. So if you were the one that was in a bad relationship and, you know, started seeing somebody new, you don't feel called to constantly have to defend yourself and keep your barrier up. You can finally let your hair down with this person, Sag. Okay, this person is giving you some type of love or stability that you need to feel comfortable. Um, so things are definitely transforming here. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Things that in your past relationship you had to fight for, like a dog, this person just gives to you freely. 
tell me about the three of pentacles um the knight of wands in the reverse you see this is turning less and less into sex or you know that knight of wands energy could be an energy of you know uh i want this so i'm just going to come in take what i want and then do 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 go live my best life because it's all about me and what's best for me and doing what i want to do that's the knight of wands energy okay and it's becoming less about you know me 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 and just me taking whatever i need and more about a three of pentacles energy which would be a, like having those conversations about you know what do you want for the future or more of a friendship type vibe coming into into play tell me about the queen of cups We've got the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Sag, in the past, okay, in the past, what you're receiving right now are things that you had to beg for to the point of like with the Ten of Wands, you may have even been thrown into like a depression. You know what I'm saying? Um, like just it was overwhelming to just get some type of love and affection wherever you were. The King of Pentacles and the Strength card. Sag, this person is going to be your rock. They're going to give you the attention and the love that you deserve with the death card here and the three of cups sag i feel like you're going to be celebrate you're going to be very happy you and this person we got happiness here and the three of cups okay these are cards of joy, celebration, going out, having a drink, going to events. You know what I'm saying? It, it's nice. You know what I'm saying? It's nice um, to, to not have to beg for these things. Queen of Swords and the Hierophant the hierophant sad you can let your hair down here and you could just breathe you don't have to be in that queen of swords energy anymore because you actually have somebody this person could be a taurus but you actually have somebody that when they say they're gonna be there they're there when they say they're gonna do something guess what they do it it's more it's unbelievable you know what i'm saying this is someone that is true marriage material Okay, this is true hubby wifey type of material, page of cups and the sun. I feel like things are going to start to get more serious, Sag, here. The I love you is going to is coming. The first I love you is coming or someone may just say, you know, you make me really happy. You know what I'm saying? You just really make my heart happy. And Sag, it could be you telling that this person this. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Sun, moon, rising and Venus. Okay, so we've got feelings, relationship, and unrequited. Okay, let's see what this is about. I hope that this person feels the same way. Let's see here. Okay, Spirit, tell me about feelings, relationship, and unrequited. We've got the Hierophant, and we've got the Fool. Okay, so Sag, I think what you're dealing with here is somebody that truly does come off as a Hierophant energy, where they do come off as marriage material. This person, I feel, cares about you and has the same feelings for you, but they don't share your vision on a relationship, is what I'm feeling here. Like this person, they want more so like a situationship where... Have you ever seen those TikToks where they're like, so I want to have dinner with you every night. I want to hang out with you every night. I want to have sex with you whenever I want to have sex with you. I want you to be available to me and only me. I don't want you to cheat on me I, or I don't want you to be seeing anyone else, but I don't want I don't want a relationship. That's what you're dealing with here. You're dealing with someone here that realistically would be the perfect husband or wife, but this person wants to be free. They're not looking to settle down. Okay. But they do have feelings for you. They do have feelings for you. Um, with the Five of Swords here and the Two of Swords, I feel like this may start to cause some drama, Sag. This may start to cause some drama. Um, Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Six of Swords. Uh, you have to be careful here, Sag, because see what's happening is you're receiving something from this person that you didn't receive in your past relationship. And it feels good. When we... Uh, are around things or get a taste of things that make us really feel good and make us happy, we don't want to let them go. Do you understand what I'm saying? We want some type of security that it's not going to go anywhere. So, uh, so 
Sag, I kind of feel like it could be that you're wanting more. Okay. Now the person on this side, Sag, may be the one that, you know, went through a divorce possibly, and they're moving on from a divorce and they don't want to get into anything serious or Sag, this person is saying like, I'll always be here for you. I'm here for you. We can do all the stuff and things. Everything can stay exactly the way it is, but I, I'm not really ready for something more. Okay. Now, if you keep pushing this person, Sag, this person's not going to keep repeating themselves and defending themselves with the nine of wands in the reverse. Um, I feel like they may, you know, they may leave. Okay. Or, you know, that nine of wands in the reverse could be a representation that, you know, you actually break down this person's barriers. Let's see. Tell me about the Hierophant and the knight of pentacles this person it's not like they're saying that listen a relationship isn't in the future or that marriage isn't in the future they just want to take shit really slow sag with the fool card and the four swords because i'm seeing the rebound card here sag it could be that this is the person that maybe was married or maybe was in a relationship this is someone that wants to be free for a little while they want time to relax they want time to rest and heal and recover okay and with the two of pentacles here and the two of swords this is someone that's saying listen i don't really know what i want right now i have a lot going on five of swords here and the ace of pentacles this is an energy of, of uh, you know, there's a fight over, I want you to be mine. I want commitment. Do you understand what I'm saying? And what's interesting here is it's really all about the title, Sag, because if we take the title away, it's almost like you guys are in a relationship. Like you're very happy. Like there's feelings here. There's happiness here. There's laughter here. There's all these things here, but you want the title. You want the title. And this person's just not interested in titles right now. Tell me about the Six of Swords here, please, for Sag. And the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Wands in the reverse. And the Lover's card. Yeah, if you... Okay, so you see, if you are, are pushing this person... If you are pushing this person for commitment, they may walk out. They may walk out. I'm not going to lie. This person may walk out. I feel like as of right now, this person's not seeing anyone else. Okay, I have to be honest. I feel like they're not seeing anyone else. But if you push this person, this person may end up looking for somebody that fits what they're looking for a little bit more. Okay, this person's looking for a, the feel of a relationship without a title. Okay, so Sag, my advice to you, my advice to you with the Ten of Pentacles and the Moon card here, it will come. Okay, it will come. Be patient. Uh, you know, in this type of situation, it, you would be required to live in the moment until this person's ready to take it there. Okay, with that that Knight of Pentacles here, it's not like there's the day is not going to come where this person will commit. It's just not going to be right now. So ultimately, Sag, it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like that's something you can't live with, then just let it go because this person will end up finding somebody that's not going to stress them out. Um, or if you just enjoy the moment and see where life takes you and this person, I feel like it will lead to a 10 of pentacles energy. Okay. With that moon card, you know, you're not seeing it because this person isn't expressing that to you because they don't want to make promises right now. They don't want to give titles, but this person is happy to the point that one day the way they feel about it is you guys will have a 10 of pentacles. They just don't want to put it into words or put it into writing right now because this person keeps their promises. And right now it's like, yeah, I feel that way right now, but I don't really know what the future holds. And I just want to, before I make these promises to anyone, I want to be sure. Okay. So Sag, you know, so you, you take it as it resonates, but that's my advice to you. Okay. All right, guys, I love you so much and I'll see you soon.